A change in leadership is coming to the South Dakota Supreme Court. Chief Justice David Gilbertson, who is retiring, marks his final day shortly after the new year. Kelly Volk looks back on the career of the state's longest serving Chief Justice in tonight's Eye on Kelloland. Even as a high schooler, Chief Justice David Gilbertson knew a career in law would be a good fit. I was working in a grocery store chain and I decided that I was not the kind of person that worked well taking orders from somebody else. Gilbertson started law school at the University of South Dakota in the 1970s. In those days they taught by intimidation or fear to treat you to think on your feet and um, just to survive that first year was a struggle for all of us. Of course, that didn't stop him and he'd be faced with a big test not long after graduating. Uh, through fortuitous circumstances, I was trying a murder case six months out of law school um, and uh, I was able to get a conviction. It was rather daunting, but I just took it one step at a time and did the best I could and that's the way it turned out. In 1986, the late governor, Bill Janklow, appointed Gilbertson as a circuit judge for the Fifth Judicial Circuit. He received another appointment from Janklow in 1995, this time to the South Dakota Supreme Court. Nobody expects when they go on the South Dakota Supreme Court the volume of work that's going to be done. The amount of reading is incredible. Uh, it's 2,000 pages a month, at minimum and uh, 12, 14 hours a day sometimes just r reading and you have to understand what you're reading. You're not just perusing through a novel. Every line counts. Not long after his appointment, a death penalty case was presented to the state's highest court. So that was my introduction to the Supreme Court. It was a death penalty case. In 2001, members of the South Dakota Supreme Court chose Gilbertson to be Chief Justice. That position doesn't come open very often. Chief Justice Miller, my predecessor, had had it for 10 years. And so I decided to apply. And the other justices, all who had more time on the court and were older than I was, decided that I would be an appropriate Chief Justice. As Chief, Gilbertson advocated for problem-solving courts. The first drug court was established in 2007, and more specialty courts have followed. I guess I take great satisfaction in like drug courts, alcohol courts, um, mental health courts, veterans courts, because those people had convicted, committed uh, crimes that uh, were felonies, and they were headed to the pen. But why did they cr commit the crime? Because they were an addict. They were an addict to alcohol, to drugs, uh, maybe a mental health issue, and they were going to continue to commit those crimes because most felons get out. But these kinds of courts can help stop the cycle, and in some cases, save lives. A lot of them will just look you in the eye and say, this program saved my life. If I hadn't been in, I'd be dead by now. And uh, the other option would be they'd be in the pen. Gilbertson will leave this office in the South Dakota State Capitol on January 5th. But as he prepares to retire, don't expect him to be his own judge. I'll let somebody else figure that one out because I've never worried about legacies. I was just trying to do my job, serve the citizens of South Dakota, and try to uh, bring forward programs that would benefit the citizens of South Dakota. You may proceed, sir, and you have 20 minutes. But he is certain of this. You know, there are very few people in life that probably at the end of their career, when they're going into retirement, can say they have no regrets, that they got to do what they wanted to do. I can honestly say I got to do what I wanted to do and I have no regrets. It's been a great ride. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Kelly Volk. Justice Stephen Jensen will serve as the next Chief Justice of the South Dakota Supreme Court. Stay with us. We'll